Hey everybody, you know, after watching the last presidential debates, I came to the conclusion that some people in America feel that it is more patriotic. As an American, I'm at my utmost patriotism in my support of Israel. It's almost as if I, that it's more important as an American to be patriotic towards Israel than to America itself. I'm watching these debates. <clears throat> Mitt Romney says, China's a currency manipulator. Maybe true. Russia's a bad guy. North Korea's a bad guy. Iran's a bad guy. We know Mitt doesn't like the way the Europeans handle their currency and how they handle their health care. He has nothing nice to say. Mitt has nothing nice to say about all the countries in the world. There's only one country that Mitt loves apparently as much or more than America itself, and that's Israel. I love Israel more than you. No, I love Israel more than you. I'm watching the presidential debates. We're talking about all these countries, and these two presidents are falling all over each other over who loves Israel most. Well, the truth is, Romney loves Israel most. Uh, I'd heard that Obama had a 12% approval rating in Israel. <clears throat> so, I'm scared. I'm scared of Romney's potential Middle East policies. The fact that when two presidents get together and they both say, we're for Israel. I've got Israel's back. <clears throat> that sounds like more than we're supporting Israel. It sounds like we've declared Israel's enemies all guilty. Right? When you say, I'm for Israel, Israel isn't monolithic. Israel comes, in our minds, with Palestine. Everybody who says the word Israel, Palestine is floating around there. So to be walking around saying, I love Israel, I stand for Israel, I'm going to protect Israel, I'm going to go to war and kill innocent Americans on behalf of Israel. Oh, did I say that? No, but it was there. It was in the air. <clears throat> it's wrong. America is its own country. <clears throat> and for Mitt Romney to go around bashing everybody and profess his great love for Israel shows that there's something fishy going on in our system. Obama probably has a similar mindset to most Americans about where Israel should stand. <clears throat> but he has to be careful about what he says. Because he knows that the Israeli lobby, APAC, and Florida Jewish voters, I guess, are important to him. So <clears throat> they actually got in an argument during the debate. Israel was offended. Israel noticed how you didn't go visit them when you visit all on the apology tour. The apology tour that made millions of Muslims all over the world respect you and respect America's government for the first time as much as they ever could. Um, I'm afraid that if we get Romney as president, we will be in World War III with Iran. It's not black and white. It's a very complicated issue, and we all know. <clears throat> and how grotesque it is to get into foreign policy, and the only thing the two potential candidates could agree on is their mutual love and respect and ability to stand by Israel. Now, are we going to stand by Israel right or wrong? So if Israel's wrong, we stand by them? Or are we just saying that Israel's right? <clears throat> Mitt Romney called China a currency manipulator. You know, to call China a currency manipulator because they manipulate the currency of money, shouldn't we also call Israel a currency manipulator? The currency, currency being terrorism, human lives, Somebody dies in a bus bomb, in a, in a suicide attack, a homicide attack, and then immediately they're out there building more houses. Real estate manipulator. Currency manipulator. And I'm not saying Israel's bad, and I'm not saying Israelis are bad. But for America to stand with Israel, right or wrong, rather than drawing our own red lines and saying, you know what, you want red lines in Iran? Give us red lines. Let's... Let's give you some red lines for peace. Well, the Palestinians don't want it. You're in charge. Israel, you are the prison guard. You run the prison. You own the prison. You control it all. If anybody's going to make peace, it's your job. You're going to have to do the heavy living, lifting. Palestinians, Palestinians are going to have to join you ultimately. But Israel knows how to make peace. They know they could do it. It's a lot easier to build more, take more land, and keep moving forward. Because after all, God gave you the land. Just as God gave the Christians the land, just as God gave the Muslims the land, worst real estate deal in world history. 
Anyway, uh, um, let me know what you think. Oh, you see, Billy Graham, famous evangelist, has declared that Mormonism, Mitt Romney's religion, is no longer a cult. Isn't that nice? <clears throat> that that uh, because of Mitt Romney running, running for president, this once cult religion is now considered a viable, real live religion. That's politics for you. Um, by the way, I come from original Mormon descent. My great-great-grandparents traveled over um, on the original uh, wagon train that uh, came over to found uh, Salt Lake City. Um, anyway, um, let me know what you think. If you're a Muslim, were you kind of shocked to watch everybody just so in love with Israel and so excited about professing how much each loved Israel? Did you ever hear anybody, any one country, ever profess such undying love for another country ever in your life? Allies? Do we ever have to profess love for Canada? We love Canada. They're right there. Do we have to profess our love for Mexico? <clears throat> no, because they're right there. They're trusted neighbors. Why do we have to constantly profess our love for Israel? Because Israel is in a heated, long-term, ugly battle that they, it appears that nobody has any interest in solving. And when you say, I love Israel, you're not just saying, I love Israel. You're kind of saying, I love Israel, screw Palestine. Anybody who just says, I love Israel, there's, there's not such a statement. It comes with another piece. I support Israel. It means I support Israel blindly. It means I support Israel right or wrong. It means I support Israel and I'm willing to take our people and have them die to support Israel's policies that most Americans, if they knew better, would disagree with. So whenever anybody says, I support Israel, I ask myself, really? Huh. What an interesting statement. I stand with Israel. We're not Israel. We're America. We're our own country. And Mitt Romney was asked during the debate, what, happened if you, what would happen if you got a call from Israel and said they were headed over to bomb right now, to bomb Iran? Mitt says, we're not going to handle hypotheticals because that would never happen. Really? They left it at that, but you know, in 2007, Israel unilaterally went and bombed Syria. Israel bombed Syria without asking anybody's permission because they felt threatened. They bombed Syria. So Mitt Romney's saying, the conversation can't even be started because it could never happen that Israel on its own would go bomb another country like, say, Iran. Oh, I bet it could happen, because it happened in 2007. Anyway, let me know what you think.